released for this weekend only get a preview of the amazing gameplay from the highly anticipated Predator Hunting Grounds trial where you get to play as everyone's favorite alien warrior. The awesome new Predator game in has finally arrived, although for this weekend only, as a free trial. Predator Hunting Grounds release date isn't set for a few more weeks, however, Sony Interactive Entertainment has graced us with a free weekend. With the current PSN issues due to coronavirus, the game will take a while to download at 22 gigabytes. however, it is worth the wait. Watching the game download time seemed to stand still and I think I may have had a better time watching grass grow. However, when the download was complete and I started the game, I'm not embarrassed to admit it, but I got Alexa to play Long Tall Sally by Little Richard as the game booted up. This is one title that I have been looking forward to since it was announced and then subsequently delayed last year. But like I always say, delays to games aren't necessarily a bad thing. I would rather a good title be delayed and finished properly than be given a half-baked mess of a game. The fact that this has been published by Sony is also a saving grace, as Sony's first-party published games usually hit a home run. Ilphonic producers of the ill-fated yet severely underrated Friday the 13th game has also developed hunting grounds. Even upon start-up and into the game's main menu, all my worries went away and completely disappeared as I started the game's excellent tutorial. Ilphonic has definitely learned from Friday the 13th and seems to have taken all of the excellent eggs they harvested and placed them into one jungle basket. Straight off, you will notice that the graphics are decent, the controls and frame rate are solid and then animations are amazing. When the Predator runs, it runs exactly the same way as we're accustomed to from the various movies. All the usual actions such as running, jumping and crouching are there, but it's the game's free running, or Predcore, that stands out. Using X to jump into the trees, the Predator can then easily run across branches and leap from tree to tree with little effort from you. This may seem a little disappointing at first, but you still have a lot of control. If you don't press X again and continue to run, then Predator will continue on the same level of branches. Pressing X while running through the trees will have Predator switch levels or direction. After a minute or two, this made me glad that I wouldn't have to line up branches manually and execute every jump, as this would have made the gameplay tedious and boring. Instead this method of play allows you to quickly decide where you want to go and to plan your attack accordingly. This means that you can seamlessly get into position in order to utilize the Predator's weapons. The classic Predator weapons are in the game from the off and more can be unlocked. The iconic three-dot laser shoulder cannon is a blast to use and switching quickly into the cloak is immense fun. The cloak can be used to stalk prey from the tree or to sneak up to an enemy and execute a brutal stealth kill. Although you may think the Predator has an unfair advantage, it does not. All gadgets consume power and the cloak only does so much. For example, you can't get away with standing in front of a trained soldier while the cloak is active, he will see you. Instead the cloak is best utilized while moving through the trees and sneaking up for a stealth kill. Infrared is also available to the Predator and can be switched on and off as required in order to spot soldiers through trees or even when they are covered with mud. While using infrared, authentic Predator clicks and grunts can be heard as well as the swoosh of the device itself. Even more authentically, enemy speech is distorted, just like the original Predator movie. Taking out as many soldiers as quickly as possible is the standard gameplay setup, however, there may be a VIP on the battlefield. Taking out the VIP allows your Predator to collect a trophy, and it is as brutal as you would expect. With all the elements combined, the developers have done an amazing job of capturing the look and feel of playing as a Predator. As for the other game mechanics, Predator Hunting Grounds is configured similarly to a traditional Battle Royale title. There are tons of customizations, weapons, toys and gadgets that can be unlocked. Predators can switch predlocks, masks, skin tones and armor, etc. as can human soldiers. 
the Game Awards credits as well as field lockers. Field lockers contain rewards such as cosmetics, gear, weapons and wraps. Other unlocks for predators and humans alike include perks that can give you an edge on the battlefield. Only three perks can be applied at once which ensures have the right setup for how you want to play. However, it is possible to have multiple loadouts per character. Due to the nature of the trial version, most of the features are locked. However, from first impressions, it appears that this is a solid game and might be something worth picking up for those of us who don't like Fortnite or Call of Duty. Everything I expected and more is present in this amazing take on Predator and I can't wait for the full version. Please note that the game is experiencing network issues and as such I have not been able to play a match as the Fire Team. The free trial is available for this weekend only from PlayStation Store and Epic Games Store for PC. The Predator Hunting Grounds release date is set for the 24th of April 2020 for PlayStation 4 and PC via Epic Games Store.